Bradford prides itself on being a diverse, multicultural city. But what do we really know about the people who have left their entire lives behind and migrated to our community? Team V Bradford has been interviewing local residents about their experience. from Hanwell in London to Ilkley, West Yorkshire, which is when I was only about four. So I, I do remember a bit of London. I was born in Chesterfield in Derbyshire um, in 1964, but I moved to Teesside in 1966. I moved from Pakistan. In, well, I came over in 2003. Uh, my son, he came over in 2010. I then moved to Oxford in 1982 for three years. I then went to London for a year, um, so that's 1985. I then came to Leeds for a couple of years. I was born in the year 2004. I then got married and went down and lived in Brighton for two or three <laughs> years. From, we had one child there, we then moved to Liverpool, two more children born in Liverpool. I moved from um, a small town, very close to Berlin, which means that I lived in the east, in the east of Germany, and I moved in 1985. Well, we then moved over to Finland in 1994. Came back to rugby in 1996. I have moved from Venezuela. But I lived in Spain two years before I came here. I'm actually here, so I saw her 18 months ago. Okay. So I was born in Finland. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I was about 18 months old, we moved back here, back to England, and ended up in rugby for most of my life until we moved to Leeds about three years ago. And then here 18 months ago, and then a year ago, I moved to Exeter for university. I came over for the job to work for a company. I moved originally because we wanted our children to learn English, but later on we decided to stay longer because the political situation in my country wasn't good enough. It was, it was my mother who wanted to move, and she was the one who wanted to move to Ilkley because she comes from around here. and. Um, but she, used, she lived in Geisel, which is not as nice as Elkley, so I presume she just wanted to move up in the world. <laughs> it's a very simple answer because I got married to an Englishman and he had lived in Germany for three years so we could sort of get to know each other because of course I was East German, I wasn't allowed to come to a country like England. That was my husband's work, mm -hmm. oh, but basically moving from one university to another we were doing various degrees at different places. And then we decided to get married and then he wanted to go back because he wanted to do his PhD so that's why I ended up here. Living in Bradford uh, it is mostly Pakistani community so uh, it won't feel much different. Very white, very white community in Ilkley. But it's, 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 it's almost not very nice. I mean, such a. I've never been so. For some reason, I just don't feel part of the Pakistani English <laughs> communities. I feel more part of the actual English communities because for some reason I just don't hang, get along with the Pakistani British. The average age in Ilkley is quite high, so. <laughs> what are all those people? Bradford, I think, is very good for that because it always has been very multicultural. It has a lot of traditions of Germans being here, Polish people being here. It was cleaner than London. And it was a lot greener as well. And when I got off the train in Bradford, I thought, oh, where have I come to? It looked so terrible, so drab, and it was raining. Now uh, it's more peaceful living in England uh, than in Pakistan, so I would say it's good. The first impression was really that I was arriving to a peaceful country and a very safe city and I, I was very glad bringing my children here instead of staying in Venezuela. And she immediately said to me in English, said, you can't be Finnish, otherwise you wouldn't talk to me because I'm black. And I didn't believe her 
until we went on a bus together once and people actually moved out of her way. And I've yeah. never seen that sort of blatant racism. Before I worked mostly in Gulf countries, before coming to England, uh, it was more uh, accommodating and friendly than most of the Gulf countries. And I'm not sure it was even that they didn't like her. I think it's just that you don't get black people in Finland. You know, their, their, their borders have been very closed against any sort of immigration. A lot more cramped. <laughs> really? Yeah, because the houses in Pakistan are like all detached. They are not so many detached. It's total culture shock. And at the time it wasn't even in the European Union. So it's very different. Um, I suppose I found people not that, not that friendly, to be honest. I did make some good friends there. People were more friendly here than Pakistan. Pakistan just people weren't friendly at all. I'm lucky in that I'm not obviously an immigrant. People just see me, they don't notice I'm an immigrant. If I were brown or black, it would be a different matter because people, even, even though a lot of these people are, are British, you know, people immediately sort of often think, oh, where are you from? You know, you must be foreign. Of course, as soon as I opened my mouth, people would say, oh, you're not from around here, love, are you? <laughs> because they could hear it. Yes, I think I have been accepted. It's the, the difficult part for me has been managing the, the, the language because when I came here I didn't know English so uh, all these years have been a learning process for me and try to integrate to the community but at the same time learning the language so it has been difficult because of that. When I first came in, it was my first year here, people started rejecting me but then I started becoming more like I'm a third year in the school, made lots of friends. Well, first year I didn't have any. I feel the British community as a whole is more tolerant towards immigra immigrants, uh, whereas uh, some other countries in the world. Of course, it wasn't just moving to a foreign country to another country. It was a very big thing because, as I said, being East German, you know, you just couldn't go to any Western countries. So even going across the border to West Germany was very, very strange to me because we just weren't allowed to travel. So, so it, it was an absolutely great feeling to suddenly realize that I could go to lots of places I thought I would never be able to visit. I think that there are certain political parties that need to get their heads out of their bums and stop being so pig-headed and bigoted. And that in our position as a, well, a fairly well-off country, that we have almost a responsibility to allow people to come and try and make their lives here because, you know, it's an all right place to live and it's certainly a lot better than some places. Governments are encouraging people to move here. They've got to be provide. They've got to be helped and provided with the right resources. You can't just say, "Oh yes, all come in," and then, and then people live in jobs, poverty and, money, and not have access to yeah, yeah, and not have access to proper healthcare and education and, and things like that. Yeah. Um, often because they don't know about it. Yeah. Oh, look, look at home. Although there is the, the glamour of being. I'm from London. I'm a southerner. Ah. Oh. I know my family being here, I think this England is our home now. So you, you would consider yourself British? Yeah. Yeah. I do consider myself uh, German, always will do, but I, there, you know, in everyday life I don't sort of consider myself very different to other people and, and uh, there are lots of things I like about this country and I'm uh, very happy to live here. Yeah. In the way this society works, in terms of, you know, uh, giving access or equal opportunities to everybody. I feel more British than, than Venezuela. But it's very odd when, I, when I'm here, I often speak as home of Germany, and when I'm in Germany, I, when I say home, I mean this, so. I am just about to go to university, hopefully. I'm doing my A2s at the moment, and if I get the grades, I'll, go, um, I'll be going back to London, actually. I can't imagine moving house again. The trauma of moving was so dreadful last time. Yeah, I keep thinking about what will I do? Will I go back to Germany and retire and live there? And um, 
in some ways I would like that very much. On the other hand, you know, a lot of my life has been here and that I think is a sort of very difficult question for people like me. Every culture have different uh, set of skills that when they move they also bring their set of skills with them. I think it offers a, um, a, a sense of perspective on, um, on the world and you're not just seeing the country as one place and as um, on the world as one place because when you're a kid you don't really realise how big everything is but if you've, if you've moved around then you do. I think it's very, you know, I, I just think it's a very good thing for people to mix, to get exposed to different ideas, to get exposed to people who come from different places, e to realise, well, they're not very different at all, you know, they're just like us.